what's up all you uh, freaky guys out there in guitar land. Uh, so you heard in the um, intro there, uh, we're going to be talking about some uh, rockabilly stuff today, specifically how to, how to set your delay pedal um, to get that rockabilly sound. And um, this stuff really comes about from like Scotty Moore, um, Cliff Gallup, those kind of guys uh, back in the 50s. I got into it really listening to Danny Gatton. Um, probably in the early 90s and if you don't have his album called Cruise and Deuces um, or any Danny Gatton for that matter you need to check it out but particularly Cruise and Deuces has some amazing rockabilly stuff on it um, also the the Humbler there's an album called the Humbler uh, which is really really good um, but anyway so uh, the secret is all in the delay pedal guys um, it doesn't really matter what kind you use uh, in this example here I've got a Line 6 um, DL4 set up um, but again, it, it doesn't really matter. And for the type of delay we're going for here, which is just a simple slap back, um, you know, the old guys would have used a tube delay, uh, like a tape style tube delay um, back in the 50s. Uh, but, you know, honestly, for, for this kind of effect, I think just about any, any delay will work. Um, so what you're going for is a simple slap back like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. That kind of thing. And uh, just set up here, we got a, a telly through a, an old silver face twin um, with just the, with just the uh, line six here delay. That's it. That's the only thing we got going on. So what you, the first thing you need to do is figure out uh, what tempo you're going to be playing at. So that thing in the, the intro that I did, kind of the um, mystery train thing there, um, that was about 240 beats a minute. So what you want to do is you want to get your uh, delay set up so it's just one, uh, one repeat, right? like that you just want one repeat um, and you want it to essentially uh, double the notes that you're playing so if we're playing at 240 beats a minute um, and you know if you play quarter notes you want to set the delay up so that it's playing eighth notes for you so in other words a simple phrase like this right with the delay on basically it's going to play the eighth notes for you And that's where the magic is in this sound, guys. So really, um, you can do it two ways. You can kind of figure out the tempo that you want um, and then adjust your delay pedal to, to that particular tempo with like a, a tap tempo or um, you know, just using the delay time knob on your, uh, on your delay pedal. Or um, you can you know, sort of let the delay, you can, you can tap out a rough um, delay time on your pedal and then figure out the tempo that works with that. Uh, so really, but like I said, you just want to figure out um, how to get it to essentially double uh, the notes you're playing. So you go from quarter notes, uh, eighth notes. And that's, that's the secret, because um, when you look at the, uh, the patterns these guys were doing, like the, you know, the Scotty Moore thing, doesn't sound that that fancy or impressive uh, you know it's just basic Travis style right and we'll, we'll cover some of these licks in a, a separate video I'll do like a maybe a five rockabilly uh, licks thing you need to learn or whatever but um, but man you add that delay and that that's a that's a happening sound I mean that that you know that sound right there kind of uh, was at the it was there for the birth of rock and roll, you know. Um, it's a pretty, pretty important sound to uh, American music. And, and as far as technique goes, you really want to wanna make sure you're snapping hard. Because if you, if you play ringing chords, I mean, th this, this, that type of delay is really going to get lost on, on ringing chords, you know. Just, it's not going to do a whole lot. Matter of fact, you may even get some weird, like, chorusy phasing stuff. So it's a real percussive. I mean, those kind of licks just sound amazing. So that's, that's all there really is to it, guys. It's a short video. It's a simple trick. Um, so set your delay for, for one repeat, 
and it's got a slap back really quick um, and just adjust your tempo to play you know double the uh, double the notes that uh, or double the speed of the notes that you intend to play and you'll go from this to this so just a short lesson for you guys today um, but I thought that was kind of a, a cool trick and we'll do some more rockabilly stuff here in the future all right guys take care